It is a very good buffet. They're clean, everything. Kim Murphy and Alexis Romans were regulars at the Asian Garden Buffet in Bardstown. They know the restaurant, and apparently the restaurant knows them. I was bombarded at the door, which is the register, uh, with the owner telling me I need to pretty much tread lightly and be careful because I eat too much. So how much is too much? The 120-pound Murphy was with her 300-pound man. The two regularly met during his lunch break for a meal. They say they've never been in the restaurant for more than an hour. Who's the better eater between the two of you? Ah, uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess they say she's eat too much. <laughs> what was your reaction? I was shocked. Murphy says of all the people in the restaurant, she has no idea why she was singled out. I was embarrassed. I mean, it was a, a restaurant full of people and she's literally pointing me out, telling me that I eat too much. Should we come in? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. The owners found the accusation tough to swallow. Cinti and Fate say this is an all-you-can-eat buffet. It's, it's their position that that never happened? I have all you can eat. Yeah. Because of a language barrier, the owners had me talk to an associate on the telephone. Nobody told her. Nobody told her yeah, she eats too much? Yeah, anybody coming here to eat a heavy, yeah. Okay. Nobody told her. Like uh, too much of the gourmet food, the crab legs? No, 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 no. That never happened? I, I tell you. Okay, you want to tell her? You go, no. Eventually, the owners do remember Kim and Alexis, but not as a couple who eats too much. Fateh says they were wasting food. There's some people who okay, come eat garbage. Open. Garbage. So they're not eating them, they're just cracking them. Not eat too many garbage. Murphy says that's a lie, and she provided an audio recording of the encounter as proof. Murphy recorded several conversations, including this one at the table with the owner's teenage daughter, explaining the crab crisis. She said that she doesn't mean that you can't eat any crab legs, but like today, um, we have to save some for like Saturday and Sunday, and the order doesn't come till Monday. Kim says they haven't been back to the Asian Garden since the incident happened. In fact, she says they haven't eaten out anywhere. I want an apology. I believe this owner humiliated me in public for no reason. I want an apology. Andy Trinan, WHAS 11 News.